Congratulations, and thank you for your soft tub purchase. With proper installation and maintenance, your soft tub will provide many years of enjoyment. This video will help you assemble your soft tub in a few short minutes, so you can begin relaxing as soon as the water is hot. Your soft tub should arrive with the following items. Tub, split lid and straps, hydromade motor unit, an accessory bag, including three clamps, two large and one small, and a foam hose cover, straps, filter, owner's manual and warranty card, large assembly sheet, water treatment kit, and five jets. Your soft tub is completely self-contained and portable. It can be set up on a patio, deck, or even indoors. In choosing your site, consider the following points. Place your soft tub on a structurally strong, relatively smooth, clean, and level surface. Avoid any sharp objects under the tub. Do not place the hydromade motor unit in an area where water will puddle around it. There will be casual moisture around the tub, so ensure adequate ventilation to prevent moisture damage to surroundings. Allow easy access to the ground fault circuit interrupter, which is located on the power cord. The 120 volt GFCI and the outlet it is plugged into should be protected from extreme weather, landscape sprinklers, and accidental spills. The outlet must be located at least five feet from the tub. Now that you've found your location, let's set up. Put the safety straps under the tub, laying them in an X fashion, and set the spa on top of the straps. Put the lid on the spa and make sure that you are able to fasten the straps properly. Set the hydromate motor unit beside the soft tub spa on the same level surface. Align the hoses from the motor unit with the fittings on the tub. Do not plug in the unit at this time. Take the three hose clamps from the accessory bag that came in the tub and place them over the hoses on the motor unit. Push the hydromate motor unit toward the tub while guiding the hoses over the tub fittings. Start with the smallest hose first and partially push it on. Align the blue hoses and push these on until covering all three connections. Gently push until all three connections are made and continue pushing until the end of the hoses cover all but a quarter inch of the tub fittings. Slide the clamps toward the tub. Allow three quarters of an inch of the hose to show. Tighten the clamps. Do not over tighten, just make them snug. You can always tighten more if the hose begins to leak while filling. Check factory clamps to be sure they are also snug. Connect the wiring harness. With the motor connected, make sure the tub is placed where you want it to be and realign your straps, making sure they will fasten properly. If your filter is not installed on one of the suction covers, soak the filter connector in lukewarm water for two minutes and snap the filter over the fitting in the tub. Install jets by gently snapping into place. Turn on the hose and allow the water to run in the lawn or garden for a few minutes to clear the inside of the hose of any bacteria or algae. Clearing the hose is a very important first step of making sure the water is clean and clear. Do not use soft water to fill the tub. Make sure any wrinkles in the liner are smoothed out and add about one to two inches of water. Stop filling and add one tablespoon of chlorine from your water treatment kit. Smooth any wrinkles that still exist. The weight of two inches of water may help smoothing any wrinkles. Note, if there is air in the side walls of the liner, it will work itself out as the tub fills. If you've purchased a 300 plus with a seat, you will need to smooth any wrinkles around the seat once the water level gets above the seat. To smooth out wrinkles, press on the wrinkle and move the material outward. Pulling on the liner and tucking it into the corner edge also helps to eliminate the wrinkles. When all wrinkles are removed, continue to fill until the water level is about two inches above the highest jet. As you fill the tub, check your three hose clamp connectors for leaks. If you see a leak, don't panic. Turn off the water and tighten the clamps until they stop leaking. Once filled to a level two inches above the highest jet, plug the unit into a grounded three-hole 120-volt outlet with isolated power supply of 15 amps. The light